Hey Andrew and Gitahi. So yeah, I wanted to show you how to extract the contours for your DTMs and then save them in a geo package. So you've got all your contours in one place. So let's say we want to add, let's just zoom in over here somewhere. Maybe this set of this DTM here. So 0 through 29, 0, 0329 BC. Let's just go find that. 0329 BC. Okay, so there's there there's that DTM. So okay, let's have a look. If we want to create the contours for this DTM, it's quite easy. We just go to our raster menu, extraction contour, and then we've only got one uh, DTM or raster added to our project at the moment. If you had a number of uh, rasters here, then you would just choose the correct one. So it's it's counting the open street map layer as a raster, but it's it's not a DTM, so we're not working with that. Okay, so by default it's asking, it's telling us it's going to create uh, 10 meter contour intervals. We can just run ahead, well, let's just use 10, and then it's going to create a vector file with a attribute table and a field for the elevation data. And currently it's just creating a temporary layer, so that's fine. Let's let it create a temporary layer. So we'll click on run. And then let's close that. And here we go. So it's we've zoomed quite far out, so we can't see our contours. We zoom in, there they are. Um, what we can maybe do now, if we're happy with that, is turn it into a permanent layer. So we're going to right click on it, and then we're going to say make layer permanent. And it's going to be a geo package. And then we just need to go and create that geo package. So I'm going to stick it on my in my engineering folder, data spatial. Yeah, I'm just going to put it here. Now I'm actually going to call this geo package contours. And these are actually going to be 10 meter contours. So maybe I can go 10 10 m contours dot geo package. Save. And then obviously the name of that tile. So it's 0329 BC. And then OK. So it's going to create a permanent layer. Okay, so if we open that up, you'll have a, have a look inside. You'll see that there is an attribute table and an elevation column for those uh, 10 meter contours. So let's quickly style that. So we'll style that using the layer style properties. Uh, start off by labeling using the elevation uh, column. We'll turn on a an option to show a text buffer. We'll maybe make this a bit smaller at eight. I'm going to change the size of this text buffer to 0 0.75 and maybe also change the color to a dark brown, something like that. And go back to the actual color for this layer. And orange is quite a good one um, because it shows up uh, on top of lots of other layers. Something like that. And then what you can do is you can make this a little thinner if you like. Um, yeah, or, 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 or thicker, whatever you prefer. Okay, so, so that kind of works. Now if we zoom in, we can see our contours and uh, on, on top of the backdrop using the, uh, the raster image, we can actually see where the valleys and hills are, etc. So that, so that works quite nicely. So if you like that, um, you can save that style. So I'm just going to open up the properties and then I'm just going to save the style. I want to save it inside that geo package. So it's going to save it in the geo package. I'll just call it contours and uh, say okay. There we go. Okay. So now if you want to, let's uh, zoom out a bit more. Okay, so now if you want to create more contours for the, for the rest of your, your project area, then you just add the subsequent uh, rasters. So let's go for this 0329 AD raster. 0329 AD. Add that one. Okay. Same thing, we'll go to extraction contour. 
10 11 ad uh, we can actually leave this as a temporary file for now we'll just make it permanent as well once we've uh, created it Say close. Okay, that works. Right, make that permanent. Oops, not that way. Make it permanent this way. Make permanent. That same geo package, there it is. 10 meter contours, and then obviously the tile name for the for the new layer that you've just created. And it was A D. Okay. Okay, then what we can do is we can uh, steal those contours, uh, so the style actually, copy the style, let's paste that style onto an existing or our new layer. Now the one thing about this particular style is that it's going to label at uh, quite a zoomed out scale. So that is one thing I would like to change about this style. Maybe just change it so that it won't render zoomed out past 10,000, let's say. So now we need to zoom in so that our scale is below 10,000 before the, the actual contours get labeled. Also, maybe put the labels directly on the lines. Like that. Let's zoom out a bit more. Zoom, in, zoom out past 10,000 and you'll see it. That will turn off. Okay, zoom out a bit. There we go. Okay, we zoomed out to 14,000. Now the labels are gone. You can change it if you want to. Just come into the, the layer rendering or the label rendering options and then just change that scale up if you need to. Um, what I'm going to do is now save that as the, the actual um, the layer style in that geo package. So I'm just going to write over the top of the other one. So save style in the geo package again. I'll just call it contours. Now there's already going to be one there. So it's probably going to ask me if I want to right over it no okay so it's happy we want to load a style there we go it's uh 26 past 10 26 past 10 okay so that is my latest one okay there we go so now every time you create a a new permanent layer of contours you will have um a style for that now if we just want to have a look i'm going to go and connect to that geo package so i'm just going to go new connection contours and let's expand that let's expand the contours okay so there's our two new contours so you won't have to recreate if you, you know every time you've uh, created a a 10 meter contours for a tile you just save it in this geo package and then you share that with each other and then you don't have to recreate it every single time one thing to note if we're having a look at um this particular uh, contour tile is that the edge has got a whole bunch of lines here we zoom in and this is because it's interpreted from that raster so there's obviously an issue with that raster where there was a, a value below uh, 9000 or whatever so what you might want to do in this instance is actually edit that layer so i'm going to start editing and then just select all of these Just zoom to full extent of selected and just see what's selected. Hopefully it's just that edge. Yeah. And then delete those. And then save that. And that'll just um, make sure that you're, you, you haven't got extra lines that aren't necessary and are making, and which would make your geo package way too big. Okay, so that is, uh, yeah, that's the procedure. So if you have any questions, give me a shout, but it's fairly simple and I don't think you'll have an issue with that. Okay, good luck with that. Cheers.